Hi, everybody. Uh, I hope my computer hangs in there uh, to do this video. I'm just going to be going through a little, a little bit of what I got today. That crazy, crazy, insane. It's only increasing and considering what we are living now, which was unimaginable not too long ago. Think of what we're going to be living in 2019 and 2020 and 2021. That is if we all get to that uh, and don't die before it. But what was unimaginable not too long ago, we are now living. So the unimaginable is coming to us. I'm sure you heard about the blue sky over New York City. And they're claiming that it was a rare phenomenon caused by, uh, caused the shocking blue glow over New York City's sky. What is the reason? A faulty piece of equipment charged with 138,000 volts of electricity erupted into an electrical arc flash that cast an eerie blue glow over the skies of New York. Con Ed <clears throat> is the uh, utility in New York City. So loud bangs, people heard, were likely related to the arc striking the ground grid on the substation from a piece of equipment that's 20 feet up in the air carrying 138,000 volts. Con Ed has had transformers blow, has had uh, pieces of equipment charged with an awful lot of electricity that uh, have exploded and blown and never did we see a blue sky before. And that's why they write things like, well, might have been, might have been the loud bangs from a piece of equipment that's 20 feet up in the air. Look, we have the technology. The technocrats, I think they're playing with us. So this is, this was a video posted about our blue sky in New York City, but included was a video that was posted by Lionel Nation on Twitter today. Now, in looking at this, it doesn't look like New York. I don't know where this is, but listen to this. I think the technocrats are playing now. They're having a good time, freaking out, causing panic and confusion, which is what happened in New York City. Panic and confusion. What the hell is going on with our sky? What were those noises that we heard? Oh my God. Well, you do a little bit of research and you find out that they can do an awful lot with frequencies. They can create those lights in the sky that you saw. Militaries all over the world have a technology that, well, is kind of beyond our comprehension. Because what we do know, it doesn't stop there. So, I think we're going to be seeing more and more of this. This took place in Louisiana.
They just had that blue thing in their sky, too. Um, so, there it was. Um, what's happening? All systems fail. We're going to be seeing more transformers blowing all over the place, and yeah. Isn't it interesting that our utility companies have become something that you can't rely on them? They've got transformers blowing all over the place. Uh, you got power outages, you know, just from a, a tiny rain. Um, oh, yeah, and that utility company, PG&E, that is being blamed for the fires in California once again. Well... It's all deliberate. It's not an accident. You are not to count on anything anymore. You are not to have any security anymore. And you are to accept whatever crap you get, your, the service that many people are not very happy about, you are to also, accept that rates will continue to increase. My internet provider increase, increased the rate. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, not, you know, a year later, but just, well, we want more money, so we're increasing your bill came out of nowhere I asked the guy at the uh, the charter company you know the charter store where I pay I said so they just now increase rates whenever they feel like it and they laughed yeah well and then he told me that the employees were also getting screwed um, they would have you know these uh, discounts on some kind of box I don't know what it was but they're increasing the rates on the employees, uh, but the service charter sucks. They are slowing down your internet speed purposely, deliberately. All things fail. You just pay more and more for it. That's the world that we are entering, but I do want to show you Syria. Huh? Well, flooding, weather weapons. Flooding submerges North Syrian refugee camp. So, we bomb countries, we create conditions that they have to uh, build these refugee camps. We pull our troops out of Syria and then we hit them with a weather weapon. A lot of people are suffering. Flooded homes, flooded tents, Flooding camp. 911 failed throughout the country. And investigations have started on Century Link outage. 911 failure. Isn't it interesting? We have had so many events take place on 9 11, and we've been calling 911 for emergencies forever. You think it was a coincidence that they picked that number? No, because these satanic 
uh, psychopathic, subhuman, just, uh, I don't even know, there's no word for these people, but they love their numbers. So nationwide, CenturyLink internet outage that caused 911 service disruptions. And our uh, chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, Ajit Pai, called the outage that began Thursday completely unacceptable. It is unacceptable that Americans, when they have an emergency, they count on 911, you know, for someone to answer. It's completely unacceptable. Well, all of it is deliberate. You are not to count on anything. When you listen to our, uh, when you listen to people, the California fires, for instance, how many people said they never got any warning? Nothing. No alert, no warning. And we've seen this throughout the years, increasing all over the place. Alert systems go off when there is not an event. When there is an event, they don't work. I do want to bring your attention to this. Okay, so we know that this is uh, not Mother Nature anymore. That man is controlling the weather. But when you look at this very striking, defined precipitation line, it should really be very obvious to everybody that our weather is no longer natural. It is manipulated, modified, intensified, created, or whatever, by man. The use of technology, the aerosol spraying. But we still have this storm. It's still in the Gulf. Wow, man. Incredible. And, well, I think last night it was in the Gulf here, but now it has um, created a longer tail that is, you know, jutting off the coast of Louisiana now. And, yeah, it is still thousands of miles, thousands of miles long. Still, it is on up into Canada. Oh, and look at all of these fabulous, extremely low frequencies being set off. Right here. Is Portland still setting them off? Maine? Well, I, I can't go through it. Yeah, it's still being set off from Maine. And of course, Canada. Um, earlier today, I went and looked, and what did I see on this site? I saw South Carolina, which is where I live, I couldn't function today. I had a really bad headache. Uh, the exhaustion I felt just laid me out. The cats never saw them like they were. Completely knocked out all day long. Never moved, sleeping all day long. That was a first. So I came over to this site just to see what was happening. Sure enough, South Carolina was saturated with frequencies. The microwaves being set off, which kind of resonate throughout uh, half of southern South Carolina. Uh, and then we had these extremely low frequencies being set off from Georgia into upstate Carolina, S South Carolina. So, yeah. Wow, the effect is uh, pretty, pretty intense. And it's very, very upsetting to know that you are being controlled. What I find interesting was in the video that I posted yesterday, I said, and I showed you the Anderson, South Carolina forecast. And I think one day was cloudy. But rain, 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 rain till next Friday.
till next Friday. Tell me where are they going? How did they forecast that? There's nothing. There, there is. You would think that. Oh my God, we would have like precipitation on our uh, radar that would extend like halfway into the Pacific if we were going to be getting that much rain every single day, every single day, unless they decide to, well, move it a little bit north, uh, northwest, and then hold it there forever. But doubt that's going to happen. So can you count on your weather reports? No. And I thought it was very interesting because here they were forecasting rain up until next Friday when we've already heard from our mainstream media uh, meteorologist that they can't forecast that far in advance, right? Everything is fake, everything is bullshit, uh, and you know, it's kind of irritating to say the least. So you get this. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Experts issue very early forecasts for 2019 hurricane season. Wow! It is pretty early, don't you think? The, the sad part about this. Nothing begs questions in people's minds anymore. I don't even think they read with any kind of comprehension. This this is not possible. You know, in that world that we lived in uh, before a man controlled weather. They do not have the tools to forecast hurricanes this early. So what's going on? Do they post these articles to see if people have any intelligence left? Or are they now posting these articles, which is essentially telling Americans, or uh, the world's people, I'm sorry, uh, that man is controlling the weather, and, well, man has just, and look, don't leave me a comment about how you don't want me saying man anymore. It's not just men. Please understand, when I say man, that was like the expression that we used for like all of humanity. And I've never been a feminist and, you know, it doesn't bother me. And so, all right, I include women in that, you know, man thing. I've never been politically correct and I ain't going to start now. Um, but, yeah, psychopaths, crazy, uh, murderous uh, you know, sick, twisted, Hillary Clinton. You think I don't know women to <laughs> be, oh, I can. All right. So, uh, are they, are they telling us that they already got the schedule for the hurricanes from the weather terrorists? And that's why they're able to forecast so early. But, see, one would have to have some knowledge about the technology that man is using to create this, these weather events, the hurricanes and everything, and most people don't. So you would think that people would say, how are they able to do that, Harriet? It's so early in the season. It's not even in the season. Uh, how are they able to do that? Do, do, do you think people actually, like, even go there? I don't think so. I don't think so because, well, when you see this, Angela Merkel, nation states must give up sovereignty. Wow. No joke. Hey, Angie, you came right out and said that. Yeah. At, in front of an audience in Berlin. You said nation states must today be prepared to give up their sovereignty. And you even went so far as to say uh, that sovereign nation states must not listen, not listen to the will of their citizens when it comes to questions of immigration borders and even sovereignty. Well, anybody... You don't have to be German. You can be a Brit, you can be a Scot, you can be um, 
you know, uh, living in Ireland, you could be French, you could be uh, Spanish, you could be American, you, 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 anywhere in the world. This should really shock the hell out of people. Doesn't shock us, right? Because we know that eventually they would be coming out saying things like this. Clear on its face. We haven't been conspiracy theorists. Okay. In an orderly fashion, of course, Merkel joked. What a joke, huh? Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, Germans run to this, to this, what is this? This incredibly sick, twisted, uh, evil, psychopathic uh, agenda written, oh, I'll sell my soul to live a, a fabulous life. Oh, I am implementing the United Nations New World Order. Uh, and this had to do with the Global Compact for Safe and Orderly Migration, the agenda that the United Nations is implementing all over Western countries. Yep, bring in a lot of people from cultures radically different from the nation who has to accept them and all the people in that nation, you better accept it. Forced upon you. For the New World Order. And it's right smack in your face. And will people stop calling us conspiracy theorists? No. All right, so what we had is Angela Merkel actually saying that there were politicians who believed that they could decide when these agreements are no longer valid because they are representing the people. But the people are individuals who are living in a country. They are not a group who define themselves as the German people. Oh, oh, so you Germans, you all want these migrants. It's some other group who's saying, hey, we don't want them. <laughs> uh, we really do need to get critical thinking back into our population's brains. You know, the, we, we really ha somehow have to do that. But she also said, uh, this is not, this is not patriotism because patriotism is when you include others in German interests and accept win-win situations. Has it been a win-win situation for you guys in Germany? I don't think so. Uh-uh. Not based on the videos that I've seen coming out of Germany. And who's winning? Well, people like Merkel and those who are helping to reshape the world, you know, for their own purposes, the New World Order, uh, helping to establish the United Nations as the world's government, they are destroying your cultures, destroying your sovereignty, destroying everything about you because, well, we all have to be the same. And we all have to be brought down. Our standard of living has been too good. We've got to destroy the standard of living in Western nations so that we can cure poverty. That's how, that's how it's going to be. We're curing poverty by bringing down the standard of living in Germany, France, uh, uh, Britain, Ireland, Scotland, United States, Spain, all over the place. Um, how is it that anybody can hear this from Merkel and not be so unbelievably outraged that, well, in Germany, I would expect to see, and I have that vision in my head right now as I'm talking to you, Germans run into her office and busting down the door, grabbing her by her arms and dragging her outside the building and then just tossing her to the curb. She's destroying your country. She's telling it to you. It's in your face now. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Nothing. It's going to go on. Uh, the same thing happening in France, the yellow vest protests. 
the revolution. In part, they're out in the street because they told Macron, do not sign that global compact for safe and orderly migration. He didn't listen to the people. Merkel's not listening to the people. They don't give a shit about you, and they are telling it to you in your face, sweetie. You're trash. We care nothing about you. Pay up your taxes, though. We're going to do what we want to do. You don't listen to the people. Wow. Okie dokie. A degraded people will allow that. A people that a people who have self-respect would never allow this. And I'm not talking to the Germans, I'm talking to all of us in our Western nations. We're allowing these people to destroy our lives, our countries. It's been in our face for a very, very long time. And it's really sad to see.